MBG is angry. No. Yeah. So the reason MBG is upset is because there are a lot of YouTubers that he sees as lesser than him or beneath him or not worthy of you know the attention they're getting. They aren't real creators in his eyes that are just getting more attention uh, than he is. That are more popular than him. That are growing faster than his channel. His channel is actually losing subs. Which I get it kind of sucks. He's been stuck at like 99,000 subscribers for like as long as I can fucking remember. Right? For, oh, that's not true. For the past couple of months, he's been stuck at 99,000. But I think it's kind of bullshit to then take your anger and frustration out on other YouTubers who are more successful than you just because you don't see them as being on like the same level as co of content creator as you. Which is bullshit, by the way. But anyway, let's watch his videos. Uh, I got the videos from Twitter, by the way. Which is why their quality is kind of shit. I mean, dude, toxic motherfuckers out here. A million times worse than I could ever be. Even if I tried. Are getting a platform. And you know how they're getting a platform? Do you think it's by enjoying games? Do you think it's by being optimistic about games? Okay, so MBG, do you like not know how YouTube works? Do you, you do know, right? You do realize that negativity always gets more views and attention than positivity. If I were to make a video called Why Starfield is the worst game of all time, that video would get more attention than why I think Starfield is the best game of all time. But it just, it just would. It's far more likely to succeed. I'm not saying that videos, like being positive about video games, don't work. Obviously, they do, but they, they do have to be like very, you know, in depth, very well edited, and still have a lot of humor in them. While with being negative, you don't need as much as that of that. People will just accept like a less less edited or with less quality simply because so watching someone, you know, make fun of something or tear into something is far more entertaining than someone like praising a video game. It's also why like drama channels and commentary channels are so popular on YouTube. People just enjoy watching that kind of thing. Do you think it's about talking about the games they're excited about? No. They're getting platforms by literally shitting on Sony and Sony fans. Yeah, so he's mainly talking about people like, oh no, it's Alex and Fritanga, and I guess me, I know I'm a smaller channel, but I still did get most of my subscribers from this type of content. But the thing he's like failing to understand here is that we're not just hating to hate, we do have reasons why we're making fun of you that are valid, right? We're making fun of PlayStation fanboys, which are valid reasons. And on top of that, our content is just better than yours. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but like editing wise, and it even feels like effort put in, even though I don't put as much effort in my videos as the other two guys that are far more successful and popular than me do. I still feel like I put more effort into my videos than MBG. See, this is MBG's channel, and most of his videos are news videos, gaming news videos, and not even gaming, specifically Sony PlayStation news videos, right? And this is an average, I'm just gonna pick a random one, this is an average MBG video. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new, thank you for taking time out of your day to check the video out. We have more PlayStation news, rumors, and leaks to go over and cover here today. So do me a favor before we dive into today's topics, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure you leave it a like. And if you are new here to the channel, consider hitting that So if we head over to X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, we have this what you're seeing right now is basically his entire video like all of his videos are like this is just him talking over trailer gameplay footage right there's no real editing there's no like humor or jokes it's just simply him giving his opinion and there's nothing wrong with that it's just that there are, are a lot of other gaming news um, channels who cover all of gaming news not specifically sony's gaming news and they do it far better than him that have more editing or like i don't know different fucking vibes and styles and shit like spawn wave i'm not the biggest fan of spawn wave anymore but i used to watch him a lot because he's just far more entertaining than this they're getting platforms by literally shitting on sony and sony fans while simultaneously talking good about microsoft and pumping them up can I just say that everybody who's made videos about PlayStation fanboys have also made videos about Xbox fanboys? It's just that Xbox fanboys don't act as insane and crazy as PlayStation fanboys do, so they're not as fun to make videos about, and barely anybody watches videos about them. 
this is and, and when I when I I'm, dude, these people I'm talking about are fucking losers. I mean, real losers, like low lifes, dude. Like people that shouldn't be accepted anywhere because of how fucked up they are. Guys, I'm I'm fucked up. I'm a low life. I'm a loser because I make fun of um, corporate fanboys on the internet. The corporate fanboys, however, who uh, suck a company's you know dick, and uh, you know think that a company cares about them and they worship a plastic box, they are not losers. People who spend their entire day console warring on Twitter. I am, I guess, because I make fun of them. But they're not just getting a platform, they're, they're growing. They're growing. What, what does that tell you? That tells you everything you need to know. Shit is ass backwards and upside down. No, it's not. Just people are more interested in this type of content. This is more entertaining. You're just not entertaining. And it has nothing to do with negativity or positivity. Positive YouTube channels or positive YouTube channels about gaming, they can still become very, very popular, right? It's easier to just be negative, but positive channels can become incredibly popular. They do all the time. It's just, you know, you have to actually be entertaining and funny and have good editing and you have none of these things it, it, like it literally feels like you barely put any effort into your content because you're just talking over footage of trailers that's what you need to know but you know what that's the thing isn't everything these days what is an ass backwards and upside down i'm really not sure anymore but that's the hard truth okay you have people whose entire persona and probably who they actually are is about being a loser low life guys he's right my entire life is specifically about being a loser low life i dedicate my life to becoming the best loser low life i could possibly be <laughs> what does that even mean their entire life is about being a loser low life yeah that, i dedicate myself to being a loser low it's fucking dumb, dude. No, I'm not. I'm a loser low life because I don't worship a plastic box and spend my time on Twitter. Ooh, that makes sense. That tracks. And probably who they actually are is about being a loser low life, about not being a fanboy. They're now fanboys for Microsoft. I'm a Microsoft fanboy, guys, uh, because I. I make videos making fun of PlayStation fanboys, therefore I must automatically be an Xbox fanboy. Yops, I can't just be someone who likes to make fun of retarded people acting retarded. That sounds wrong, it sounds like I actually make fun of the mentally disabled. I like to make fun of stupid PlayStation fanboys doing stupid PlayStation fanboy things, okay? I've already explained why I stopped making fun of the Xbox fanboys, it's because they don't really do a lot. And nobody cares when they do things, because they're just not funny like PlayStation fanboys are. I don't own an Xbox. I don't even disagree with like everything that Microsoft does. I think when Phil Spencer said that he wanted to buy out Nintendo, and uh, if they didn't want to get bought out, he was going to do it like just a hostile takeover, essentially. I don't fucking agree with that. That's fucking weird. Don't do that. But I'm still, you know, I'm still the enemy. I'm still an Xbox fanboy because I disagree with um, their notion of PlayStation supremacy or whatever. <laughs> they're fucking Microsoft fanboys. And they're getting cheered on, dude. It's why it's absolutely wild. It's crazy. And these are the guys. These are the guys that'll come out and they'll say, but what about Sony? But what about Sony? What about Sony? I don't know, man. What about Sony? Bring, ask me about Sony when Sony says they're buying a publisher. How about that? Oh, we're doing this. Yeah. What about Sony is quite valid when people complain about Microsoft buying studios, yet S Sony has bought every single successful studio under them. Sucker Punch was bought, right? Naughty Dog was bought. Insomniac was bought. They recently bought Bungie. I don't know <laughs> what you're complaining about. Anyway, boys, this is the end of this clip. There are a lot of other clips of MBG acting like this, but I don't really feel like, you know, th this video is already too long. I feel I'm not going to make a 30 minute video about MBG being mad that other YouTubers are more successful than him. So, uh, yeah.
with that being said i feel like this is the end of this video if you guys want to see another video like this because he did make multiple clips like this let me know in the comments and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye or oh, like and subscribe by the way <laughs>